And now it's time for our final segment of arts and entertainment of this week with our Iteho. Good afternoon to you, Teho. Good afternoon, Wanyo. So it's the weekend, and many of us are looking to do uh, what to do over the weekend and spend, I guess, more uh, good good time with our families and friends. You're exactly correct. And for, lucky for us, Seoul offers a variety of cultural and entertainment venues for us to enjoy. But today, I'll be taking a look at my top three things to do over the upcoming weekends. A beautiful moonlit night with a slight breeze that hangs with the scent of autumn, surrounded by nature, away from the chaos that is our daily lives, to be serenaded by the beautiful voice of Grammy award-winning soprano Sumi Jo in La Fantasia. Join Sumi Jo, Rotini, and K-pop group member Yang Yosop on lead vocals with melodies provided by Ditto Orchestra and masterfully led by conductor Adriel Kim. Also on the viola will be Grammy-nominated violist Richard Yongjae O'Neill. The concert is set to start at 6 p.m. this Saturday and Sunday in the Olympic Park Gardens as part of the Park Concert Series. The concert runs for 120 minutes and the gates will open at 4 p.m. both days just in case you want to avoid the rush. And if you haven't had the chance to purchase your tickets yet, worry not because tickets will be for sale starting at 3 p.m. at the box office. You know, it would be such a nice and peaceful way to spend one of our evenings, especially with a nice breeze these days and coupled with uh, Sumi Jo's just beautiful voice. Uh, you're exactly correct. And I mean, that heavenly voice, you know, that made her a prodigy as a child and a success now is really due to her hard work and enduring the many struggles of life. Right, and not only is she such a great a person as a professional, I mean, I had a chance to interview her one-on-one, -on -one, and she's just a remarkable person just, uh, you know, in and herself, and she always remembers her Korean roots. You know, you're exactly correct. Sumi Jo is known for her stage outfits as well, and although she has the chance to wear very high-end, high-level European outfits, she always chooses outfits from Korean designers, so it's a really good way for uh, to expose Korean designers to the world. Right, and to promote them, of course. Now, uh, Taylor, there is another great concert next weekend for those of us who cannot make it out to a concert this weekend. Oh, you're exactly correct. Uh, moving from the heavenly voice of Sumi Jo, we move to the romantic melodies of Japanese pianist Yuki Kuramoto, performing at the Seoul Arts Center right across the street from us here at Arirang. Yuki Kuramoto is a Japanese pianist with a master's degree in applied physics from Tokyo Industrial University. The man is a genius, and lucky for us, his fans, he has chosen to dedicate his genius to his passion for music instead of science. Kuramoto arrives at the Seoul Arts Center on the gentle winds of fall breeze for a special one-night concert on Saturday, September 21st. It promises to be a relaxing and healing experience during the long holiday weekend. The concert starts at 5 p.m. and remember, it is only for one night, so don't miss your chance. And moving right along, we have a special K, no not K-pop, but a K Musical Stars concert to tell you about opening next weekend at the LG Art Center in Yeoksam. Let's take a look. Korean culture is the global hot it, and with the Korean wave sweeping across the world, a quieter and less noticed side effect is the growing popularity of Korean musicals. Well, you'll finally have your chance to experience the Korean musical scene next week on Friday, the 20th of September. The K Musical Stars concert features four of the hottest musical performers in the country right now. Im Taekyung of the musical The Count of Monte Cristo, Kim Seung Dae of Elizabeth, Kai from The Tale of Two Cities, and former Finkel group member and the star of musical production Rebecca, Ok ji -yeon. The concert will be held for one night only at the LG Art Center, located in Yeoksam, and will begin at 6 p.m. Don't miss out on the chance to experience the best performers in the Korean musical theater scene. I mean, too, I've been noticing that uh, Korean musicals have been receiving more and more publicity and attention these days. You know, that's very perceptive of you. And the funny thing is that the Korean musical scene is more popular and is all the rage with tourists 
as opposed to locals here in Korea. And it's at the point where a lot of tour agencies are offering musical vacation packages for foreigners. So they can come here to experience the amazing musical productions here. That's actually uh, really good because we have some really great uh, musical performers here in Korea, and hopefully they will get the attention that you know many other K-pop stars or uh, actors get uh, from around the globe. And we hope to see that industry prosper more. Exactly. I mean, that's the hope here with the K-pop wave effect in around the world, right? All right. Uh, Taeho, thank you so much for today and uh, the, all of this week. And we'll see you on Monday. I'll be back again on Monday.